Right, okay, so welcome to an introduction to Google+. Plus. My name is Annette. Um, I am the Digital Marketing Specialist at the Grove Group. Um, if you have any questions about the presentation today, you can either drop me a line through Google+, Plus. I'm Plus Annette Gardner, or through Twitter or through Google+, Plus using the hashtag GroveWebinar. Um, so, I mean, our goal for today's session is really to gain an understanding of, of what Google Plus is and, and really how the key tools work. The idea is to give you guys the skills and the tools to be able to begin exploring the platform properly today using all the tools that are available. Uh, this is the agenda that we're going to be covering. Um, we're going to talk about what is Google Plus, why it's different, we're going to cover a few of the key tools how you really Google Plus and, and why Google Plus is great for businesses. So really going to kick off um, with what Google Plus is and really why it's different to the other social media networks out there. So Google Plus is really the social spine that underpins everything Google does. And by saying that, I mean what Google Plus does is it connects all of Google's products with the social layer. So that's consumer products, that's business products, and really everything in between. So it's adding a social communication to, to all of these applications. So that's Gmail, Docs, Voice, Calendar, Google+, Photos, YouTube, etc. So, so that's the goal of Google+. Why is it different? What makes it unique? Um, so Google+, is really all about making sharing online like sharing in the real world. So in the real world, if you were at a party, like in this picture here, you wouldn't necessarily walk into the middle of the room and um, just sort of stand in the middle and start spreading your message out, you know, the same message, the same comments, everybody in the room, when they must all listen to you at the same time. You'd probably walk into the room and then move around really nicely, chatting to individual groups of people about different topics, different conversations that you may have in common, um, sort of as you would normally do in the real world. So Google Plus really allows you to do that. What it does and what makes a difference is it allows you to divide up your contact base into groups of people who have similar interests or groups of people who how you would like them to divide it up. So for example, you can create a group of just your friends or a group of just your work colleagues and you can communicate a different message to each group as you go along. So for example, maybe you have some pictures of your kids that you would like to upload and share with everybody, but you wouldn't necessarily want your work colleagues to see those photos. You, Google Plus gives you the ability to share those, that, those pictures or that information with just maybe your family. So the way that it does that is through circles. So what makes Google Plus different um, is it, it really gives you the tools to be able to communicate online as you would do in the real world. So we're going to run through a couple of those tools uh, at the moment. And if you have any questions at all along the way, please feel free to drop me a line in the chat window. Just checking, I don't think there's any questions there at the moment. So I'm going to be very brave and I am going to show you my Google Plus profile, which is always a brave move. I did check it this morning just to make sure there was nothing funny on there. Um, so the first piece of Google Plus that I'd like to introduce you to is, is your profile. Your profile on Google Plus is the first thing that you'll set up when you create your account. You can create your account either through your existing Gmail account or you can just go online and um, create it for free. The first thing it'll ask you to do is to populate your page or your profile. So this is really your home on Google Plus. It's where all your information is stored. It's where you can choose to communicate as little or as much information about yourself as you want. Um, it's completely up to you. There's all sorts of, um, and let me just jump into it quickly. There's all sorts of different categories that you can use. Uh, let me get to my profile. There you go. You can see who's in your circles. You can add a little bit about yourself, with your introduction, your bragging rights. You can throw in some of your work details, your education, basic information. You can include links to maybe your personal blogs or websites that you really like for, maybe your business website. And you can include as much or as little contact information as you like. The bottom line is it's all about you. And this is, like I said, this is your home on Google+. Um, 
from here, from through your profile, you'll also be able to see any videos that you've uploaded by moving along the navigation tab at the top here. You'll see you've actually got quite a big space for a picture on Google+. Plus. It's very, um, it deals with images really nicely. So you've always got tons of space to include any of great photos that you've taken or images that you particularly like. And as you scroll down through the page, see I don't have any videos posted. As you scroll down through the page, you can see your picture at the top gets diminished and it's only your little thumbnail image here along with all of your information. So moving across the top navigation here, you can see I'm in the About area, which is my personal profile. You've got your Posts area, which is everything that you've posted on Google+, and we'll run through that all in a minute. Any photos that you've got included or uploaded, any videos that you've shared, any sites that you've plus one. Plus warning is something that's very particular to the Google Plus network. What it does is it allows you to show your approval, your digital approval of content that somebody else has shared. Um, through also through your profile, you can see something called reviews, of which I haven't published any yet. Um, reviews is specific to another part of the platform, which is called Google Places, and Google Places um, lists businesses or places of interest near your physical location or a location that you're particularly searching for and it allows you to post reviews and read reviews that other people have written about those locations and those have been geosynced to a particular location. So that is really your profile on Google Plus. Like I said, that's the first thing that um, you will be asked to complete when you join the network. The second most important part about Google Plus is, of course, your stream, which is accessible through the home navigation. You'll see at the side here, so you'll see as I move my mouse over to the left here, it pops up all the navigation down the right hand side. And this is really how you move around the platform or you move around the network to the different features and functionality that we'll run through in a moment. But this is your this is your stream. And what your stream is, is it's the collection of information that's been posted by people or businesses that you have decided to follow on Google+. Plus. So Google+, Plus works a little bit like Twitter in that it's a completely open network. Anybody can follow you and you can follow anybody. The correct terminology is to plus one. You plus one or you follow somebody, you connect with somebody or they can connect with you. There's no permission included, like in Facebook, how you have to approve somebody, um, it's, it's completely open. So that really gives you accessibility to great thought leaders out there talking about topics that you're interested in. It allows you to quickly and easily find people who are talking about the things that you're interested in, and I'll show you how to do that now. But just to point out, so this is your, your stream. You scroll down to view everything that's in your stream. And Google Plus had a number of updates recently where you can either view it in a, in a double stream like this or through the drop-down box. If it makes it a little bit easier for you to read, you can see everything in a digital stream. So items are always posted in date order with the newest at the top. And if you're just sitting here for a while, after a while you'll see a little refresh button pop up in the left-hand side and it'll tell me how how many news stories have been posted by people who you're connected to throughout your network. Um, if you are just starting out and you want to, you don't really know who to follow, who's on Google+, who of your friends or family members are involved, there's a couple of different ways you can find people to connect to. You can use the search bar at the top here to connect with somebody that you know that's on Google+. You can either search for a person's name here I'm searching for Heather Thompson, who I know is a colleague of mine who's on Google+. Plus, and you can see her profile comes up here, and you can quickly and easily jump over to that person's profile. And you just click on her. And then to follow them, all you do is move over this little, it will say, follow me, in this circle over here. I have already circled Heather or followed her, so that's why she's showing up as the circle that I've used. And you can just scroll through here and pick out which circle you'd like, her, how you would like to follow her. Um, so you can either search for a person's name, you can look for a particular topic maybe that you're, you're interested in. I really like cooking. So you can see, um, as you type in the search bar, uh, it gives you people who have cooking in their name, pages that talk about cooking, and communities that talk about cooking. 
Um, I'll run to pages and communities in a moment, but this is how, as awesome as Google search is on the normal google.com, what they've done is they've bought that functionality straight into their social network. So it allows you to really find anything that you're looking for, exactly what you're looking for. Another way to find um, people to connect with that you might find interesting who are talking about things that you're quite interested in is through this what's hot area. The what's hot area, it really, it gives a dedicated stream to things that are really popular on Google Plus at that particular moment. So either people or pages that are posting really popular content, it'll show you what's trending through these um, trending tabs here on the right hand side. The trending tabs tend to be geolocated, so I am based in South Africa. So at the moment, and I set that up when I created my accounts, at the moment it'll give me information and topics that are trending in South Africa. If you're in the UK, you might see a different list here, or if you're in the States, you might see a completely other list. Um, this page, this explore, this what's hot page, also gives suggested communities that you might be interested in, or um, interesting people and pages that you might uh, that you might like. The platform evolves as you're using it, so the more you engage with a particular type of um, particular type of person or a person who's talking about a particular topic, it learns from that and it'll begin to give you suggestions uh, on the right down, down the right hand side of people who it thinks you may like based on your existing connections. So as you're starting off, this will probably be very, very broad, but as you start to use the platform a bit more, it'll become more specific to the topics that you have engaged with, that you've clicked on, or people that you've followed. So that's how you would find people on the platform. So you've been through your profile and your stream. So like I said, the thing that makes Google Plus really different is that you can divide up or or break down your connections, your number of connections into different subgroups or different circles. Um, and this really allows you to communicate a very specific message to a particular subgroup or to a particular circle. Um, you can quickly and easily create as many circles as you'd like.
Hello, can you hear me okay? Ronald, is that better? Yeah, no, I can hear you. Oh, great. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Okay. Um, where did you miss me? Events. Have you, did you catch all the event uh, stuff? No, I, was, uh, I lost you about 10 minutes ago. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Sorry about that. 
I'll just quickly is get a quick. Be videoed? Is, is it going to be videoed or? This, or this, is, this is being recorded and I'll share the recording okay. afterwards with everybody so you okay. can catch up if that's okay. Okay, thank you very much. Not a problem. Um, so, like I said, um, events can be either physical events that you can uh, add on here, publicize and share with your network or your circles, or you can create what's called a, a digital event or a hangout. So a Hangout is um, something that's very specific to the Google Plus platform, and it is an online video conference um, run through the platform. So this isn't just a social media platform. I mean, this is like a social media platform that allows you to build communities, create circles, divide up your, divide up your contact base, um, connect with others through online video conferencing. It allows you to do, you know, it comes with a free Gmail account and Canon and Drive and Docs and all that other kind of stuff. So it really is, it's, an, it's a one-stop shop, it's an everything in one type of platform. The Hangouts are quite possibly the, the, the key, the feature that has really pushed Google Plus up to number the second fastest growing, second fastest growing social media platform um, just behind Facebook. So I'm just gonna have a quick drink of water. Oh, much better, much less croaky. Um, mm -hmm. So to start a hangout, so to create a hangout, um, it's very easy. You can do it through the event window here. So a hangout, like I said, online video conference between you and nine other people. So if you have the free version of Google+, Plus, which comes with any free Gmail account, you can have up to 10 people on um, a hangout. And if you have the Google Apps for Business account, then through the Google Apps for Business solution, you get up to 15 people on a Hangout. Um, and whilst you're on a Hangout, you can, you can see everybody, you can share information, you can live share your desktop, you can converse with everybody to chat windows down the right hand side, and you can all work together online in the same documents at the same time through Google Docs. Everything that um, Everything is integrated, so like I said at the very beginning, Google Plus is a social layer that really connects everything, so it allows all of the products to talk to each other, and you can do that even through the video online conferencing. So to plan a Hangout, you just click, you can come to the Events window and click Plan a Hangout and get going. Alternatively, you can go to your Home window here, and this little green bubble in the top right-hand corner you just click that, it gives you a list of all the contacts that you have, everybody that you've chatted to before, and you might just click on the user, I won't start a Hangout right now because it might confuse everybody, um, you click on the user and you can click start a Hangout. You also have the option to IM chat with users through, um, through Google Plus at the same time, and you do this through this window over here at the same time. And you can see um, through the Hangouts or through the chat, you get everybody's images down the right hand side. You can see if they're online or not, with a little green line underneath them. Um, and as you roll over people, for example, Marcus, you can see a little bit of information. The window pops up about them. You can see what circles you have them in, and you can see what the last thing that they said to you was, which is always represented down over here, just underneath their name. So that is events and hangout. And like I said, I'm just whizzing through here because we only have 45 minutes. There's a lot more to this platform. Um, the goal of today's session was really just to give a, a very high level overview of, of what features and what functionality is available to you. A um, couple more things I wanted to touch on. Um, the one is pages, um, which is what uh, businesses are particularly interested in. On every social media platform, you have the ability to build a page. So people have profiles, and businesses or organizations have pages. Um, you can build as many pages as you like. Uh, all you have to do is click the button, create a page, and you can create as many pages as you like. Um, every page has one owner, and it can have up to 50 managers. So I, for example, own um, our business page, the growthgroup.co page, but we have also delegated managers within the organizations that are able to post information and share information, help users through our page at the same time. So it's not just one person's sole responsibility. So to change, so to change that page, what I have to do, navigate to the left-hand side, scroll onto pages, find the page that you're interested in, and switch to that page. And you can see I am now operating as as Grove Group, I am now publishing information, sharing information, and interacting through the platform as as the Grove Group page. And you can see here, this, the stream looks slightly different. It's a bit more populated um, because they're following a different group of people. 
and I can break up my stream according to, for example, our customers, VIPs, our staff, um, the Googlers, etc. The Civil More drop-down option also gives you a whole bunch of other circles that you're able to divide up your stream by. Pages are very useful and all the same features and functionality is available to a page um, as is available to a profile. So pages can still set up events, pages can still host hangouts, pages uh, can do all sorts of information. You can see you can, we've shared an event over here, um, posted information, posted links, posted videos, posted photos, it's, it's all exactly the same. So it's a great tool to use to interact with brands and people and influencers and topics that you know really interest you. Um, you can always tell if you're in a in your in your profile or your page in the top right hand corner over here, but that's a logo that is showing. It's an awful mistake to make to think that maybe you're in your personal page and uh, you're actually in your company page and you post or write on something that's not relevant to your brand. Um, and that shows up as a post from your company. Might could be a little awkward, depending. So I mean, we spoke a little earlier. I'm just going to jump back to my personal profile now by going to pages. What it'll do is it just thinks for a minute, and then it should just pop me straight into my personal profile again. You can see uh, the logo that's shown up on the right hand side. I am back in my profile and I can just jump to my stream. Oh my goodness gracious me, it's a great time to be hit with slow loading internet. Like we said earlier, when you're ready to post information, all you do is click on the window in the top left hand corner there and it pops up this up. And like I said, you can post photos, links, videos, events, you can post publicly, circles, etc. There's a couple of other tips and things I wanted to just uh, tell you guys about because it's it's pretty useful and interesting, especially when you're looking to uh, share information with a particular group of people. So as in Twitter, hashtags are used pretty prevalently within Google Plus, and hashtags are things that little pound sign. Um, and you can use these within posts, updates, events, communities, anywhere really. And it really allows you to categorize whatever it is that you're talking about. So um, it allows people to quickly and easily find things that they're interested in. So if people are interested in webinars, they might just look for the hashtag webinar and, and see what people have been saying. I mean, if there's news day going on, like for example, there's turkeys in the news at the moment, you might, you know, if you wanted to write about something and have it as part of that conversation, you might use hashtag turkey. And you can see um, as you type it what different hashtags are currently in use. So you can see really what, what the global community is actually talking about. Another way to use hashtags is in the search bar across the top here. You might want to see what's happening in Turkey, for example, or like what, what all the buzz is about. Maybe you've seen the hashtag pop up, but you're not really sure what's going on. Just you can use the search bar at the top here to find, to find anything really. And you can see here, there's a whole lot of information about the process, stories of what's going on, updates, photos, etc. Um, you'll notice when you're searching for it that it gives you this blue, it's very quickly, it's obviously a hot topic at the moment, you'll see, uh, I just clicked that three new, because three new pieces of information that come through. And this bar across the top here, it'll show you um, what it is that you're looking at particularly. You can either look at the best of, or you can look at the most recent. It's entirely up to you. You can also save the search, and once your search is saved, you are able to divide up your stream according to that search, and it looks like a, like a circle, basically. It creates a specific stream based on that search. Once you've searched for something in the top search bar over here, um, you can see I've searched for obviously hashtag turkey. It's given me everything. I can narrow that down if I wanted to, to people in pages. I only want to know people in pages who are talking about turkey, see turkey tourism, Obviously, it's talking about it, um, a couple other options. You can look at communities who are talking about Turkey. You can check out some just posts that are talking about Turkey. You can view photos that people have posted from Turkey and, and a whole lot more. So it really does allow you to look for absolutely anything in any which way that you want to. So it's a very, very flexible um, social media network. Um, 
so that's hashtags exist and, and the other way obviously for hashtags is, is within the what's hot or within trending or within search you'll see that's often popped up you can see the people using hashtag Toti, NIN, Andrea, I'm not sure what that is, YouTube a whole bunch of things are happening here. You don't have to use the hashtags, but I also South Africa is a hashtag, but that's trending. It really is just a great way to categorize what it is that you're talking about or looking for. Um, three new posts. So you can see it happens quite quickly. It's a very, very highly engaged platform. It might not have the most followers, like for example, like Facebook does, but the level of engagement that people are really great for chatting and finding people and engaging people. It's People are using Google Plus for some truly wonderful things. Um, I just want to talk about, I've um, got a few minutes left, and the last thing I want to talk about is why Google Plus is particularly great for, oh, so I'll give you one or two tips quickly, um, and then we'll jump into why Google Plus is really great for businesses. So just a few quick tips. Um, Google Plus allows inline formatting to some degree in your posts, and you can make things bold, you can make things italic, and you can add a strike through to your links when you're posting them. So for example, um, if you wanted to emphasize something in a post, so hey guys, had a really great day today, and you wanted to emphasize really great, you can make that particular post bold, by adding a star to that. So if I wanted to share that maybe with just my friends, um, I hope you did too. You're able to italicize something by using the underscore key as well. And you'll see when I post that, what I'll do is I'll give you strike through as well. You can add a strike through by using a hyphen. So this is the three different types of inline formatting offered on the platform. You can use the hyphen gives you a strike through, stars give you bold, and underscore gives you italicized. So when I share that, you can see how it shows up here. So you can see, hey guys, had a really great day today. I hope you did too, and that's all italicized. It's just a couple quick little tips there. Just to finish off, um, oh my goodness gracious me, you can see I've obviously not used my presentation that I put together. Um, the one thing that I do quickly want to finish off over here is, is why businesses should be really excited about the platform, why businesses should be taking it seriously. I mean, everyone knows that social media isn't a fad, it really is a revolution. It's changed the way that people quintessentially communicate. I mean, you know that, your competitors know that. It, it's really quite exciting. Um, so how, why should this be taken seriously? Well, it lets you talk to a highly engaged um, user base through circles. You can divide up what you're saying, you know, the same message doesn't, isn't necessarily appropriate to all audiences. You can really talk specifically to specific people who are interested in a particular topic or a particular product or, or about a, a, a specific thing that's happening. Um, you can use a multitude of styles or types of communications to talk to you know your following you can use updates hangouts communities events local listings etc etc Google Plus because it's integrated with all other Google products um, being active on the platform and having your platform linked up to your domain name it really helps with uh, organic SEO and personalized search there's a whole science involved with that that we would really take up about three or four different webinars I can um, share some great blogs with you about um, how it really does affect search, but the, the bottom line is that it does. Um, obviously, Google Plus is more than just a marketing tool. Um, it's, a, it's a communication vehicle, and that communication works both ways for businesses. It allows businesses to communicate outwards towards their following and also inwards towards their employees. So you can really use it to talk to you know, your colleagues, your staff, how circles work for um, communicating with the world at large. You can also use that internally. So you can, um, based on the Google Apps for Business product on your own domain, you can communicate, divide up your circles, uh, maybe your organization, HR department, your sales team, your accounting team. You can create different circles and communicate different messages with those, um, with those groups of people. We use Hangouts internally for all of our meetings, and we have a sales team based all over the world. And every Monday, we have a sales meeting here that we use Hangouts for. It's a really, really great tool.
So I hope that that has been um, really, really interesting and that even though it's been a very quick, can you show how to build a screen sharing YouTube video? To show how to I'll come to questions at the end. Sorry, I see that there's a few in there. I'll just drop through those in a minute. Um, you know, the, the goal behind this webinar is really to, to educate you guys and, and, you know, give you a little bit more information about this truly fantastic platform. Um, and at the same time, I just would like to end off the session by telling you a little bit about us and who we are and why we're doing this, you know. We truly think that it's, it's a fabulous platform. It's based on an incredible product, um, the Google platform, and it offers obviously a business solution as well, Google Apps for Business, which is the same as the, the Gmail platform. You get exactly the same tools, but within a business environment with different levels of security, um, SLAs, it really, it's a really fabulous enterprise product. And um, Grove, as Grove Group, we are an enterprise business partner and a Google Apps Premier Enterprise Reseller. We're based in the UK, South Africa, and the US. Um, we've won a bunch of awards, and we are really passionate about the cloud and our customers, and really enabling businesses to communicate and collaborate better through cloud-based business tools, such as Google Apps for Business. Um, this is a list of really what we do, Google Apps, uh, Google Plus, devices, platforms, Geo, Search, a whole bunch of our other services. Um, as well as providing a complete end-to-end -end service, so from planning and discovery through to project management and change management and support. Um, anything that happens in the cloud, we're able to help you with through by leveraging a bunch of our partners that we do business with. And here are just a, a list of some of our customers worldwide. We've got a pretty big footprint um, also through a partner network. So. Uh, I hope that, that you found this webinar today really useful. I am just going to jump to questions now. So if anybody does have any questions, please feel free to pop it in the window, in the chat window, and let me have a look through. Can you show how to build a screen sharing YouTube video as well? I am not sure what you mean, um, Ronald. I, could, we, could I possibly chat to you offline about that one? Maybe I can help you out, send you some links or something. Great, fabulous. I'll connect with you to Google Plus. Are you on Google Plus already? I'll connect with you today, or you can drop me an email or grab me through the Grove Group website. That's also fine. Does anybody else have any questions? Anything they'd like to know? Great. Okay. Um, I will then end today's session, and I hope that you found it really useful. Um, and Stay tuned for our next session coming up in a few, or next week. It is 10 things you didn't know about Google Sites. We'll be talking about the, the Google Sites platform. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Thanks, Anit. Bye. Bye-bye.